morning! <laughs> so today um, I wanted to share with you something that I absolutely love to do whilst I'm here. I'm here in Wales, I'm visiting my family and my favourite thing to do whilst I'm here is go to a red kite feeding centre. The red kites are a bird of prey and they have this beautiful gold red kind of feathering on their back and when the sun shines on it it's absolutely beautiful, it's just a shimmering red and they have fingers, like actual fingers on the end of their wings, it's which makes them unique and they're absolutely incredible. And this place is a feeding center, so there are three in Wales. This one's a little bit farther away, it's maybe an hour and a half's drive, but it's so worth it. And you get to sit in these little bird huts, these little bird booths, and you see them being fed. Uh, the same guy goes out there every day with his bucket of meat, and they're wild, but they're tame enough to know that he's not going to hurt them. So. As he's walking away with the meat, they're already swooping down to try and eat it. And watching them eat in their hundreds is absolutely incredible. And I'd like to go and show you the other ones as well, but this one's my favourite. It's a little bit smaller, it's a little bit more kind of private, and um, you can see them a little bit closer. A lot of the other ones are big fields, so there's literally hundreds of red kites, like hundreds, they all come to eat. and. It's good, but this one's smaller, it's better, I love it. And the mountain drive when we go there is incredible. So hopefully, if the weather's nice, we can get some good shots of that as well, because so lucky to live in beautiful Wales. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> So we have just arrived and we can already hear them keying up above us, it's incredible. There are some just above me now and you can hear them going kee because they know the food's coming and it's just a little walk to the, um, the boxes, the booths where we'll be um, watching them from and we are so close and it's amazing. I don't know if you can hear that but they're all flying above me right now and I can see them. And they're all waiting for the feed, so we're nearly there. and they're just circling around outside, waiting for the food. <laughs>
So we've just finished with the red kites. They were amazing. So great to see them. We're just taking the dog for a walk now outside and it's really windy and they're all flying above us and we can hear them keying and it's just incredible but there were also three buzzards that landed um, with all the magpies and all the crows the crows and magpies are good that they're there because it's like it shows that the red kite said it's safe to land there's no other predators they're sort of safe from humans and all of that but yeah it was so good and the three buzzards there were an extra bonus i love buzzards and they were just on the floor they normally don't sweep down like the kites they just stay on the floor and um pick up the meat by themselves and tear it off. They're a lot, they have a lot chunkier legs, so you can sort of tell them apart. But yeah, the red kites were amazing. And the sun did come out a little bit, so we could see a little few flashes of red as they were coming down. But this is Wales, the weather is what it is. It's still beautiful, I adore it here so much. But yeah, that was amazing. No signal out here for Pokemon Go. What a wait, let me get him in that gold. Is that a little teddy bear? Is that a little pig? What a beautiful little lamb! beautiful sunset even though I can't see anything I'm sorry but it is just gorgeous here it really is so beautiful isn't that worth coming home to I love this place look at that isn't that just the most beautiful view hey so we're home now and it's the evening we've had dinner and I think tonight I am going to do some drawing and thought I'd show you what I've been doing so far is I'm drawing a Kali for my next piece and yeah I'm just doing it on my drawing screen. I really need to charge up my uh, pen though and can't really do it with one hand but I just basically bring this closer to myself and I'll use the keyboard for my buttons and um, just draw like this. I don't think my, oh no, my pen is synced up. And yeah, so basically what I thought was I was going to do a Kali like this and then I'm going to put the smoke around her because of one of her moves is like a shroud. And ignore that sun, it looks kind of cool there, right? <laughs> and yeah, that's her face. And I've just basically roughed in the things right now, but I thought I'd do the smoke around her, then have a beam of sunlight coming down here, filtering through. So you could see some of her clothes, because I'm obviously going to put some smoke over the top of it. I don't know, I don't like too bland lighting, although I do want to keep this picture kind of dark. Most of my images are quite bright and colourful and cheery, and I wanted to keep this kind of dark, because she's an assassin. This is going to glow green. This is one of her dag. It's going to stop about here, but that's just for me, for the guide. It's the dagger is gonna glow really, really green and it's gonna reflect on some of the smoke down here, but I really want something like <laughs> the way that my light in my bedroom is reflected there. I want that coming down here. And I'll put some little like glow worms or, you know, dust or, um, you know, the little midges you can get flying through here. So it looks really kind of oriental and cool. So I'm gonna do some of that tonight. Um, Although, I'm feeling a little bit, I don't know, like, I don't really want to do some drawing tonight. But I should. I need to get on with it. I need to do it. I just don't really feel in the mood. I just want to 
eat chocolate and watch YouTube and Netflix. I'm watching Ozark right now. So I'll probably watch Ozark and then draw at the same time or something like that. Sometimes I have to be in the mood to draw. Sometimes, I don't know, I just have to. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my day with me and enjoyed the red kites like I did. I absolutely loved them. And I was saying with my mum that we want to go and see the other one before I go back in a few weeks. And there's even a third one, which I've never been to. And I really want to go see that one. But yeah, remember to like the video if you liked it and comment below if you want to see some more videos like this, any more vlogs of my life here in Wales. And remember to subscribe, please, if you haven't already. And if you want to follow me more on just an update of my life each day, um, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well if you like. Okay, yeah. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good night.